Hello friends. Today let us learn, learn about uh, images in HTML. So what we are going to, going to learn in this class is how to add uh, images in the HTML pages, how to choose the right format of image, and how to optimize the image for the web. Okay. So how you do insert of uh, HTML page? The basic thing why we need to insert an image in a website or a HTML page. There are many reasons when you want to add an image to a HTML page. So you might want to, want to include a logo, a photograph, a illustration, diagram, or a chart for a better user experience and take a web page or a HTML to more attractive and informative. So basically, images make your website to feel good or to be a average or a great website so inserting uh, images in website plays a very important role in designing of websites so what all we need to take care why choose using AMJ for your type of website i'm sorry okay choosing images for your plays an important role in the designing of website a picture can say a thousand words and a great image helps the difference between a making an average site to a great site. Now, what all things things we need to consider while choosing your image for your website? The image should be relevant. So whatever you want to convey in the website, a relevant image has to be with it in order to connect to the people. The image should be convey information. It should convey information. You should not uh, put a picture which doesn't convey any information and what we are going to tell has no matching with the image. And it should convey right more to, to the audience. And it should be instantly recognizable and fit it into the palette. It means it should be displayed properly in your website. Website. Okay. So where the hell can you can find the photos which are when you want to use in your website? So there are some websites where we can get the photos, free images and paid images and premium images. The one is the I stock photo is the one of the website pixabay is one is good for free images and also the paid images weed.com photolia.com etc okay so how you store your, your images in your site so if you are uh, building a website from the scratch it is a good, good practice to create a folder and keep all the images in that uh, the folder may be a image images so it's a good practice to keep the images and logos used in the webs in a separate folder and accesses access them whenever it is required in the code so how you add a image in the in a what's to add a image in a test well we are using a, a tag or element called img so this is an, an empty element without closing tag and along with this yes, element there will be attributes a dialog along with it so the first, first attribute is source it tells the browser where it can find from the image file and alt this provides the text information of the image if the image is not seen for some reason, this text will be visible on the website. Title. So you can also use a title attribute with the image element to provide more additional information about the page. So let us see the syntax of the image tag. So Basically, image tag is denoted by IMG tag and it has not, not a closing tag. 
<coughs> and a source file where you tell the browser that where the images are available for example in this case i have kept a apple.jpg in the image folder and the alt alternative is, is the information i have about about that uh, picture and title gives the more information about the image so this is the way you insert a image in the html which is img tab so you can also specify the height and width of the image to be displayed on the image this is how it is denoted so let us do a demonstration of this so we'll create a new file called HTML. So I am saving in the folder HTML Okay, so and we have got a image folder which is Created as a separate folder where we keep our images here like how I explained So what we are going to do image dot dot html okay so you save this so then then html just try this html it gives us the button this okay so in the body we'll create one paragraph insert image here so i'll just write image tag mistakes so equals src equals you should write where the image is so we have to give the access uh, access to that folder which we have, have told so we are in html image and i'll give you this one desert dot dot jpg so images dot so we should give a, a black slash images dot desert dot jpg so alt so you, you can give some name as this is a image of desert and you can give the title as this is a picture something okay so then we want to add that to this is the end up this is what we have to, to do uh, in, in order to, to get the data access okay Okay, we have to image uh, to close the image of the okay. So we'll save this. And we'll go to, to run run this. So you can see here this due to some reason uh, it's uh, the image is not visible. That's why this uh, alt image will be shown. So we'll see why it is not showing. Might be uh, the team might might be that different. So you go here. So such specs. Okay, you can see now the image got inserted and a text pair. So 
this is how you insert a image in a website or in a, in a HTML so now you, you can give the height for this picture so like how they have given so what we are to add the width and height so here you write right. I'm just it should be in court it is good so now you can see that what what will be the output so I'll refresh the page so you can see now now the picture is put in the palette of 10 100 by 100 pixel 100 by pixel or I mean uh, weight and height and width okay this is how the uh, images are added in the HTML or pictures so so this is the important things which we have to understand about the image tag and a search is the source where we are identifying the location Alt is used for the depending upon the uh, type up of the image and uh, gives more information of the image. This all textures help in the SEO of the website. But also the title provides some more info. If you want to describe more information about it, then you have to, have to give the title information if required. Okay, so there is a one thing if you place a image tag in a different location, how it looks in a paragraph. Where image is placed in it will affect the display of the images. So there are three ways of displaying images HTML. So before a paragraph, if you put how it will display. So the paragraph starts with a new line after the image. Inside the start of the paragraph, the first row of the text aligns with the bottom of the line of the image. The third it is in the middle of a paragraph. If you put a image tag in the middle of the the image is split between the words of the paragraph and that is appears here. So we'll just go through through the example for this. How it looks so in order to save the time I have already created an image for you so, so for example I'll just explain see here so this is an image tag which we have put okay so we are telling where the image source is and the alt text width and height this is the paragraph so the first condition is before the paragraph. This is we are putting in image before the paragraph. The second one is, is after the paragraph, and the third one is middle of the paragraph. So how it look looks like when we uh, run this uh, code or when you open it in a browser, how it look look like? So you can see here. Um, link examples okay you see here. so now the image is mistake is split between the before the paragraph then first it will put, put the paragraph and then it, it goes to the next layer paragraph stops with a new new layer so if you put it it's a starter inside of the first row text aligned then the bottom uh, image will be aligned so first the text will be aligned, then the, it will for that uh, bottom and if you put an image in between the image uh, sorry in between the words of a paragraph then it, it appears as the middle of the paragraph so this is how it look looks when you use this image tag in the code in different location This is what we have already explained. So the output look, looks like 
so this is what I explained the image is a bit for the paragraph uh, after the paragraph and then between the paragraph this is how it look look like this is before I go inside in the start of the paragraph and in the middle of the paragraph okay so these uh, images can be also be aligned however you want in our website so for this is basically we use CSS uh, so which we are going to learn in the further for the other step just just now just understand that the alignment can be the of the positions of the images and alignment can be done using CSS okay so now we have understood about how to insert an image, how to align an image, how it will affect if you place an image tag in different location of the code. So another things we have to take some of the important things when choosing a photo or an image and creating an image. So same image in the right format. So because uh, mainly EVJ, APJ photographs are used as JPEG and other transparent as PNG and GIF for other format of photographs. This is important because uh, if you don't save the title format, the uh, size of the page may become more and it the loading time takes more and your website becomes slower and in the terrain effect of the traffic to your website and same images in the right size size so you had to identify the width and the height of a image and it has to be fixed if it is smaller then you are to use it the image get distorted and just stretch if the height is weight then the more than the width then there would be a distortion of the images so appropriate uh, size of the image height and width has to be specified in order to get good user experience on the with the images and use a correct resolution so using a resolution is very important in just using the element and inserting in the HTML or a web website So once you say, tell that we have to use the right size, right resolution, and right format. So all these images comes as a raw, and these things needs to be converted. So we are using most tools to do this. One of the most common about the web professionals are used is Adobe Shop, Adobe Photoshop. So they we can modify the picture as per our requirement and can easily use it in our website. So other softwares are Adobe Fireworks, Pixel, Meter, Paint, Shop Pro, Paint.net. So one of them among all these Adobe Photoshop is the most popular tool which is used used by the web professional. And for small workers also we have got online editors like photoshop.com, pixelart.com, splashup.com and ipcg.com so what are the formats of images we have to use in the website the formats are .jpg, gif, .png is a transparent images and some vector images okay so this is the overall or uh, summary overall thing about the images that has to be used in the website or HTMLs. so basically the, the important thing is images are inserted using a img tag and it has got a, a attributes called ssoc where it tells us a browser where is the location of your picture and it's a good practice to put, put all the photos in a separate folder called images and so that that we link whenever uh, it is required in the code <coughs> excuse me and uh, the, the, the logic thing is you should use the correct power format bit and under uh, correct size size of the photos uh, when we use it in websites so let us uh, summarize overall uh, 
images how to use in the website the image tag is used to add images to website you must always specify a source or attribute to indicate that source of an image and an alt or attribute to discuss the content of image SRSRC is the location to be used and alt is the alter attribute discussion about the content of the image you should have an image at size you will be using them in the web page and it should have a appropriate format photographs are best saved as jpegs illustrations or logos that use flat colors are best saved as gifs okay this is all about the images in html hope this uh, tutorial is useful to understand about the images in the html hope this uh, video is uh, useful if you are not watched our earlier classes about the structure text and link please go through through the links which is present in the description and help me in supporting this type of videos so that i can prepare more in my tutorials and which are helpful to the you people thank you and have a nice day and don't uh, forget to subscribe my channel to get the latest updates and trends and press the bell icon to get the latest notification thank you